All right, moving on. Beast Demon Mech Pirate and Undead. Go Lich Baz. Take advantage of early hero power, potential value for later for demons. Arana, good tribes for her hero power getting online. Patchwork, just delay and try to get to infinite states. That's the one cost spell. Madge. Oh. I'm going to freeze just in case. Here's nothing we play. Even if you got like the 4-4 in the shop, it's not worth it. Knowing the odds in poker is wrong as an example, playing or even when you lose. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like there's no part of me that wants to turn off odds. You'll learn a lot more by seeing like overall, like what were the, the average behaviors over and over and over again in games. You just got to not let it tilt you. And there's just some days where you just like, RNG's it's it's stacked against you. You had some below average hits, Shruggers. We're almost there on that one too. Good fights. Oh my god, we're high rolling so hard. It's so easy. <laughs> this is why you know it comes around and goes around. Silly shit sometimes, but yeah. Never mind, everything's great. So this is a Leapers game? True. Time to go next. I mean, it's not as over as some of those mech games, you know? Somebody else can get an even freer game than you. We still gotta hit cards. And we've seen how well that goes some games. That's a great opener. Love the cock. Huge fan of the cock. Look at it. Haven't seen Leapers win since Stealth Baron left. Uh, we saw one earlier today that won. We got a second place game with that Lich King, this lobby. The person had double golden Titus and another Titus on their board. <laughs> Turns out seven's enough. <laughs> It was a tough one to counter. Okay, both for calm down. You know, some days are just thirstier days than others. That's all I'm saying. He's irate. He rates high, you know? I rate this chicken pretty, pretty up there. Are they arms or wings or both? I feel like you don't have that level of uh, control of, of wings. Those kind of have to be arm, armish. Arm adjacent. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Double automaton doing four. Then again, like, you have to hit a quest for this. Or a trinket for this, because that doesn't come together just because of that hero. Alright. Alright, bud. Alright, dude. What is this? What is this, Soul Rewinder? Mm hmm Kind of rough for early rounds. Maybe we uh we we hit that bird, you know? Let's go get the bird. I mean after all the beasts are dead, but still. Good hit on the bird. Good coin flip. No. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get... We're going to have to get creative here. Gorylic backstage security. True. Scale the solar rewinder temporarily in combat. Genius. I like it. What if you go Elise in the spot? 
We just kind of have to buy time till we get Greater Trinket now. Which means we level next turn. We don't really roll much. Lich King is dumb. Much agreed. Big agreed. I don't think we care about this. Big agreed. Big if true. Lich King dumb. Double Felbat portrait for 14 shops. True. That's what we're going to get. We just need the buff the tavern a whole ton. I think... Uh, anything that buffs tavern off of the tavern 6. Or off of the graders. Kind of the way we're hedging here. Okie dokie. Yo, Jakenstein, thank you so much for the 7 months, dude. Also, VIP Headhunter with the Prime sub as well. Appreciate you guys. Dope. Dope minions for sure. Just cycle the patient scout through and... And something. Take up the pair on the picky eater. Roll the board, then here a pair. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all we care about is tempo. We could go beetles. Sell a minion for beetles. We burn one gold for it. Feels a little overkill. Also, with Ceremonial Sword, this is probably just as good as a 10-10. Because both minions that attack are going to get four extra attack. You laugh. I had the uh, the double portrait or fell bat portrait, and I never found the shop scaling. Shit, dude. Your dream was right in front of you. It was a smorgasbord. You could eat so many times. You could have gotten Drakari and eaten like 20 some times. Unfortunately, every meal was a lean cuisine. All right. That's the right read for sure, then. Mm-hmm. Meh. Okay. Acceptable. Famished fell that was famished. It was it was not full. That's for sure. Alright, well, take our damage and figure it out from there. Oh wait a moment. <laughs> Did we just get a completely different board state? <laughs> All right, well. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cheap. Considering that I just have to sell three to take two, and we're definitely gonna, gonna hedge this way. It's not like I have to sell anything important. Just demons. Double chess set? Dude, the dream. Don't you even start getting my hopes up. You stop it right fucking now. You're over here with your, like, optimism and shit. I don't even want to hear it, honestly. His double chest set turned two minions into seven minions. Yes. Speaking of which, I learned Teron's interactions with chest set yesterday. Do you know the priority for minions with Terran? It's kind of crazy the way it works. It's intuitive once you, you know, you spend a little time on it. But, uh... Basically, the order in which they're, they enter the board is their, their order in which they're duplicated. So if you use a hero power to... Alright, I'll take it. I will take this for sure. Got the five star off the board. So, like, if you use a hero power on Terran to kill a minion, and, like, maybe it reborns and brings another copy of that minion, those things go to the end of the, the queue of minions to be duplicated. You could have been great, you know. I hope you know that. You could have been great. We could have been anything. 
and instead you chose to be shit. It's going to be a lot of free spells. Yeah, or hedge that way, I suppose. This is good if we can get Kelpazad. Who don't make the cut? Hey, Buffer, how you like the new season so far? I love it. I love it. Give me that new any day of the week. This is kind of funny to reborn. Typically, I would reborn this or this. If we can get Kel'Thuzad, this is, this is nuts. I love it. Give me that new, new. All right, Baron, Kel'Thuzad, Catacomb Crasher. Those are the big hits. Could be worse. Went first. I mean, only six minions, so we always go first, but, you know. We went first, which is pretty cool. Good brand snipe as well, just for good measure. Nice. That's about as well as this combat ever goes. Don't understand how the five star undead minion works? Just think. If you had enough spaces to summon the minions, how many of them would exceed seven on the board? That's all you got to think. Ooh, it's free. This actually doesn't decrement this if it works the same way that Malka or uh, Bizarre Dealer used to with Soul Rewinder. Let's check. It does do it. This is bullshit. This used to, with Bizarre Dealer, not use the Bizarre Dealer's proc. They didn't program it that way. Thanks, Blizzard. Thanks, guys. All right. Time to go up. If that's the case, you got enough money. Okay, we got infinite money actually. We're so rich, don't even know what to do. Boo. Cute. <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not unhappy. My high roll was fine. I just bought two hasty excavations with two of my free spells. I'm not salty, you're salty. Hey, I heard you like free spells. I do like free spells. Do like my stats. Would love it if we weren't just getting obliterated, but you know, whatever. Not too surprising. Just mid-game tempo boards versus mid-game tempo boards. Yo, Etruscan, thank you for the bits, man. Tears are very salty. Agreed. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Probably ultimately irrelevant. Dropping the 10. Just high enough health so we can't get ghost. Alright. Surely Baron and Catacomb Crashers are coming home. It just isn't that important. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got, what, one, two left? There are worse minions. Or spells, I should say. Then protecting against Alakir. Makah Mega Buster looks a little different. Yeah, I mean, this is the conversation, right? We showed like the high rolls where we get Catacomb Crasher, Dupe It, get Golden Bear, and all that kind of stuff. But the scaling line is very linear, which is is a problem. Because when you need, have a linear scaling line, you really, really, really need to be in that composition ASAP. Because you can't just be dropping minions off the board. Even if you get to the full composition, you're typically getting like 100, 100 a turn-ish on each of your minions. And when we're dealing with metas full of thousand thousands, it's, it's a little tough to justify. Now that being said, like it's by far the best line the game gave us this game. We just gotta get the right cards. You gotta find Baron. You gotta find find uh, more catacomb crashers. Just gotta get a little bit luckier. That's all. That's all I'm saying. No one can beat our board. That's right. Our board is invincible. Nobody can touch us. That was the takeaway. Good. Good. Hey, wait a second. That's a Baron. Now we just need to get a completely different set of minions on the board four turns ago for us to win this lobby. We're basically there. This is such a good spell, too. <laughs> Hole up. Are we we kind of cooking? At least it didn't spit on this bird. Isn't all scaling in BGs linear? I mean, depends on how you want to take a step back and try to define every situation in every game. The rate at which you gain stats in this, this board is gradual over time, and the rate is linear. If you add extra cards to the board state, then sure, you can gain slightly higher amounts of scaling. But not everything's linear. Like, beatboxer scaling isn't linear, right? Each turn that things trigger, they trigger things that are increasing the rate of scaling. So, like, not everything's linear. The problem is that if you want to increase the rate of scaling, you oftentimes have to sell the minions that you previously have put on the board, which causes a problem, right? That's more the, the core concept. Not that, like, it being linear by itself is bad. You cost yourself so much in the process of doing it that the amount of scaling isn't justifiable. 
every single line could fit a linear function. Might just not be the best fit. <laughs> Some very questionable R squared values. <laughs> True. You know what? Very fair. I like that take. Ghost didn't find a baron either. Every, everybody's sad, you know? Degrees of sad. This doesn't really mean anything to me. Get a bird. And a reborn, but we're not likely to use it. All right, money. This could only be Kel'Thuzad, and Kel'Thuzad doesn't fit the board anymore, right? We're too late for that. Only gain 59 59 per minion. That's sad. True. 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 Dude, then, to be fair, we got an extra Brock and Macaw. Feels pretty fortunate. What are we at? Three left. I guess we have this gold still. You get a reborn. You get a reborn. Yes. Yes. Yes, good. How much risk do you want to take? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're going to do it. Now, the bigger question is how much risk here? Do you just go all in for the biggest number? Hell yeah, we do. Or do you play the second caretaker in case this gets sniped? I just don't think he has big minions on the board. And if he doesn't have big minions on the board, then what am I worried about getting sniped? Oh, we are so cooking. The cooking has never been better. We're cooking so hard. <laughs> 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 Talk about the downsides proceeds to hit the high roll. <laughs> yep, you know what? I like cooking. Cooking is great. We should cook more often. Not worth the reborn the caretaker. Are you expecting it to die with five open board spots? <laughs> it is okay to put it on the board so that like when it dies, it potentially spawn gives a one one extra to the board. Because the reborn version doesn't doesn't fit. But that's only really good if it's taunted, typically. Because, like, not really the priority here. Maybe reborning Crasher was the, the better play. Thinking about it. I asked for this and I got rewarded. I did it for you specifically. This one's for you. But we could spit so hard. But like, which one do I want to sell? I want to triple this. That's all I really give a shit about. I'm gonna spit this. No, I mean I can use it so that I can use the gold in my hand to roll. I suppose. Spit on that thing. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm... Those are the words I'm saying, dude. No. That one's okay. I mean, it's not great because, like, something has to die first. All right. You... No, no, no You get to go on there. That's why I feel like Kel'Thuzad is 
It's kind of the nuts for this board. Because you get early Kel'Thuzad with Reborn Crasher and you just dupe it and then dupe Golden Crashers so you can go like three Golden Crashers. So you can put this here just in case it dies. If it dies, then we would get a 1-1 one, one extra to the board per Catacomb Crasher that's currently existing on the board. I feel like that's not very impactful. Might want the gold for next turn instead. It's really good if you're like, you're not playing the bird version and you, you taunt this thing because it just increases the number of minions that should respawn by one, which means you get the buff every single turn. Just not for the bird version. The bird version tends to, to not see that. Maybe if you taunt it, you think we're taunting it with the bird version? I'm going to press F and X and many other letters to doubt. Nice. Perfect hit on the first hit there. It's exactly what I wanted. This bastard killed Kenny. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, at least we didn't die. Butcher it, bro? Yeah, we should butcher it. Agreed. Might as well just kill it real quick. We could butcher this when we cycle something through, right? Which is kind of what the, the better use of it something is. Like, if we get the Catacomb Crasher triple. Good thing we reborned it. It was an extra 1-1. One, one. Okay. Extra 2-2 two, two basically to the board. Could set this low so it dies potentially. Uh, okay. Okay. 2020 a bird. I don't think we do that. Getting it to die isn't as important as let's go. That's having it this not die and those things getting sniped or whatever. This stat line can be slightly smaller. It's not a big deal. There we go. Now we have our board space. the reborn we can fit another bird on this board it's genius we'll bank this for next turn sure Was that 22-22? Let me see more. What did you say is the best play style this season? You mean like tribes or whatever? Gross. This should beat us pretty easily, right? Lies. Lies it doesn't beat us. Lies and slander. Mm. Beetle coming in clutch. Fucking lies and slander. We can beat the Leapers board. Yeah, Malcolm's kind of an odd choice here. Doesn't really do what he wants it to do. Clogs the board and puts bullshit on it. Right now, the game's pretty much a estimation of, or a, a uh, an effort in creating cheesy comps. That's pretty much what the game is. How do you make the cheesiest thing you possibly can? Because thousands of stats by turn 12 is not uncommon. In fact, it's super, super common. Bro, we're cooking. He's cooking too, but we're cooking as well, you know? He's got some cooking. We got some cooking. No Baron on the board anymore. No problem. It's beautiful. You're cooking permanently, though? Yeah, all he needs is a Golden Baron and he beats us. 
Shit, all he needs is a decent death rattle minion and not not amalgam there, and he beats us. We'd really need white main or something to clean that one up. Plus, it's a 50-50 on white main still. It's a pretty cool beast board, though. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty good one for as fewer resources as he put into it. I like it. Are we white maining the final board? All right, to answer the question. <laughs> what was the question again? What's the best tribe? Oh, the game's just like an effort in, in finding cheese. Do crazy shit. Or go home. Okay, I guess we'll just buy up gold for next turn. We'll delay till later. And then we'll pick up some cool thing like a Golden Baron or something. So like, Mech with Automaton does crazy bullshit. Beast with Leapers can do crazy bullshit. Murlocs with, uh, you know, go going infinite and demons going infinite can do crazy bullshit. Practically every tribe is playable right now. There's a couple that are definitely falling behind a little bit. They're just not as not as consistent, so people don't hedge toward them. Like Elementals and Pirates are definitely, they feel like the weakest tribes. Those guys, they just don't really get there, you know? Elementals are not playable. We've won like three lobbies off Elementals, you know? Playable isn't probably the right word to choose. Is it that they're not playable or is it they're generally speaking not consistent enough? One off of Nomi, one off of uh, Tavern buffing and consuming, recycling Wraith type stuff. Leapers can get astronomically big. Hundreds of thousands of stats, right? This board state, not bad either. It's a little bit slow, but uh, it's top end is good. Can you explain how this build works? This card right here is the key, Catacomb Crasher. Whenever a minion that you summon does not fit on your board, give your minions 2-2 two -two permanently. This minion right here summons four minions. So we can trigger this thing a bunch of times, at which point each time that it triggers, it fills the board, exceeds the board limitations, and buffs the entire board. So every time we're triggering this, it buffs the big board over and over and over again. Since it summons four skeletons as a death rattle, it stacks with Baron and Macabre double effects. So basically what you're doing is spawning 24, 36, whatever the number is. I'm not mathing right now. Skeletons off of the Macaw and they don't fit on the board, so all of those give 2-2 two -two to all your minions. It's a neat combo. It is a neat combo. Number get big. I like it. What can I do with you? We can get another Baron. But what if it's another ca uh, Catacomb Crusher's more stats than Baron, isn't it? It's White Main. That's boring, though. We'll just kill this bird next time. Wait a second. <laughs> what if it's more birds? Just hole up on that killing the bird nonsense. One, two, three, four, five minions. I'm just going to have to get lucky. I guess it's Catacomb Crasher. You're not going to get Baron. What if it's another golden bird? This thing deserves to be golden. This would have been so good a long time ago. Dupe the golden cavern crasher. I feel like I'm moving so slow on my turns and yet we still have 50 seconds left. You just have infinite time to play right now.
Here, you get to be golden. Make your parents proud. What'd you get? 600, 600? And potentially resummoning twice? It's nothing. It's weak and pathetic. <laughs> it's 300 stats. <laughs> it's casually just 300 stats at the end of the turn. Might as well pop it. Yeah, good. Cute effort. We'll see how big the, the bird board gets, but technically this board can beat you. I want a five star. So we want to see the most fours we can in the tavern. Yes, good. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> like you just, at a certain point, you gotta, you gotta do it. You know? Yeah, so 4-4 four, four will make our board better. Bye, buddy. You did a great job, but... White Mane deserves the spot. We could have easily fished for and gone another White Mane or something like that to really lock down the lobby instead of leaving it up to chance. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have buffed this. But what fun is there in that? Gotta at least let him leap a little bit. Will it always taunt an untaunted one? Could it affect Goldrin with it's already taunted? You can taunt a taunted minion. Yes. So, like, he could definitely just get lucky and play around it. He also has multiple five stars plus on the board. Which is why we could have just, like, spit multiple times. Take the minions, all, all the stats down the same minion. Play, like, two white mains. For a higher chance. But we want to we want a real final fight. We don't want some nonsense. Look at this board. He's actually huge. Did he just beat us? This is huge. It's magnificent. All right. All right. He's pretty big. Still only one Baron. That doesn't really matter that much once you start stacking. But yes, it doesn't get immediately to like 1500 stats. Good news is that the death rattles have all triggered. The, the fish is still alive, right? Which means he's not getting this... Nice. The leaper's still alive, so he's not getting this thing duped. It's just one bear, and it can't hurt you. Dude, we were close. Or he was close. He's already in the range of 1,500. Imagine that stacking two more times. It's in the range of 6,000, right? He was damn close. He had one more hit, and he got there. Because now he's at 3,000. He just needed one more. Literally one more hit, and he got there. We did it. We outstanded the Leaper. <laughs> All right, big board. Feels good. Bigger number, better board. Get fucks, little frogs. I battled with too many macaws. Did we both have two golden macaws? The third one we sold. He had three of them. Eyes is a hell of a drug. Nice. It's pretty.